Hey guys, Long here, back with another video about mass points. And today, we're gonna learn about split masses. And what do you ask is a split mass, my dear friend? A split mass is where you have a vertex right here, right here, and and you have two s here. Both segments have like different transversals and stuff, stuff like that. And you need to split A into two masses. So A1 and A2 to satisfy both these segments. And A, A equals A1 plus A2 to make both segments balanced. So this is what we call a split mass. And, okay, so read the problem. This is, this is an Amy problem. So read the problem, pause the video if you need to, and, okay. Um, so, starting off, you, you first see that, hmm, so this is, uh, let's, let's first initialize the lengths of these segments to make it easier to visualize, because we're just talking about ratios, so it's okay if we initialize the lengths. So this, since, uh, since AM over AB is 17 over 1000, we can probably make 7, this AM 17, and we can probably, no one will kill us if we make MB 983. No one's gonna kill us. Don't tell my mom. Okay. So A N and A D is seventeen over two thousand nine. Seventeen and this will be nineteen ninety two. And um Okay. So after initializing these masses, we should assign this this looks like a pretty cool mass point problem because you got seventeen here and seventeen here. Yeah, looks uh looks pretty nice to balance the seesaw so like so first you you notice that this is a parallelogram okay so so ac bisects bd so this bisects bd and these two are equal lengths then these two must have equal weights and if you uh actually if you guys didn't don't know about mass points these are the basics you should check out our last video where daniel liu ta goes over the basics of math mass points but anyway so um so these must have equal weights so uh so D equals B. And uh, so if, if these have equal weights, then uh, B multiplied by 983 must equal A multiplied by 17. And D multiplied by 992. Okay, okay, I'll just write this down. 1992 D times 17A. Oh, equals 17A. Sorry. Um, 983 B equals 17A. And you know what would be really nice? If D and B are equal, it'd be really nice if we could just have D and B be equal to 17. Because they have to be equal, right? So we might as well find a common, you know, factor. So let's just set B equals 17, D equals 17. And what would that make it? That would make, that would make this mass. So let's pretend this side for A1, this side is A2. So uh, that would make this mass, A1, equal to... 983. Now, let me review. A1 is like where you split the mass here. You split the mass. So A1 satisfies this segment and A2 balances this segment. So by making A1 983, you balance AB. And by making A2 1992, you balance AD. Okay, so by doing this, you can add these together and you get A is equal to 2975. And that's that's the mass for A. Okay, so uh, we we want to find A A C over A P. So uh, to do this, let's uh, let's first write down the equation. Uh, two nine seven five times A O. Oh, sorry, A P equals. Uh, okay, okay. So uh, the interesting part is um. Let's see. Oh yeah. AC over AP. Okay, okay. So you notice that uh, this this weight, this weight right here, is uh, the the sum. Sorry, O O. Sorry, O is the sum of uh, O is the sum of these two weights, and uh, O is so O is thirty four. Okay, sorry about that. So um, you got two hundred two hundred seventy five times. AP is equal to 34 
times p o. Okay, um, here's the here's here's where you need to do some calculations. So we want to find we want to find a c over a p. And the way we do this, we notice that a c over a p equals a o two times a o because a o is one half of c o properties of parallelograms over um, a p. Why is that a b p equals two times a p plus p o over a p which which if you do that is actually equal to two times one plus ah sorry um p o over a p okay so what is what is p o over a p it's p o p o over a p you just divide both sides by uh, AP times 34, and you get 2975 over 34. So you add one to this, you get 2975 um, plus 34 over 34. Which would be, let's do some quick calculations. I believe it is. Um, 177 over 2. So if you if you calculate the mass, you for AC over AP, that would you have to multiply this by 2 equals 177. So the answer to this Amy problem, this certain Amy problem, is 177. And um, thanks for watching. That's how you do split masses. And I'll see you next week. Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today I'm going to talk about something called mass points. So mass points is an, uh, a problem-solving strategy in math that comes from physics. Let's say we have a seesaw here. We have two weights on the end. Say this weight is A and this weight is B. We also know the two lengths here, C and D. Now, when the seesaw is balanced, elementary physics tells us that A times C equals B 